So the signing of treaties establishes the relationship between Canada and Indigenous people. And within those negotiations between different treaties, uh, there have been different um, rights and privileges that have been negotiated on both sides. So um, each treaty is different and uh, no, no rights are exactly the same. Um, so if you want more information on particular treaties, uh, please reach out to me and we can, we can find more information on that. But treaties also establish um, the right that Indigenous people have to health care. In particular, I'll talk about Treaty 6, which is where I live and likely where you live too. So Treaty 6 is really unique in that it includes uh, the medicine chest clause. Um, we are the only treaty that has um, that clause and you probably have heard something about it, but maybe not a lot. Um, so the text of, of the medicine chest clause is on the screen and it says that a medicine chest shall be kept at the house of each Indian agent for the use and benefit of the Indians at the dire direction of such agent. And the text of the treaties can be found on, um, I put the link in as the source, but you can find it through the Government of Canada website. Um, the treaties have literally been signed by, by the Government of Canada, so all of the information is there. When I was creating these slides, um, this image popped up of uh, the medicine chest, and I thought it was actually quite perfect because what is a medicine chest? Uh, is it a box full of band-aids, like a first aid kit? Or what is it? Um, however, the interpretation of uh, the treaty right to health care uh, within the courts of Canada has, and the spirit and intent of the treaty has legally been interpreted to have the understanding that Indigenous people have the right to health care. So in a federal state such as the state of Canada, where different um, responsibilities and duties are divided up among the provinces, we know that the federal government, because that is who signed the treaty with uh, Indigenous people, is responsible for Indigenous health care. So we d even though um, in the way in the federal system and the way that Canada works, um, the federal government gives money to the provinces and health care is a provincial matter. However, the relationship that Indigenous people have with the state came before the creation of many provinces. So, for example, um, the creation of Alberta and Saskatchewan happened in 1905, and um, the Treaty 6 in particular was signed in 1867. So, the relationship that Indigenous people have with the Canadian state happened before um, before provinces were created. So, and that relationship continues to this day. And we've seen this. Um, it's interesting with the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, the federal government has been responsible and is paying for the vaccine distribution on reserve, not the provincial government.